I need to update the bulk record like uh, cancelled resolve with the sum walk notes which said walk clock walls. So what the user is trying to say that they are trying to update particular record like set of record with a specific specific condition and they might be trying to update a resolve state or maybe cancel state and then they are trying to set the walk notes equal to um, I mean some walk notes and then at that moment they are trying to set that set walk clock walls. This is like a requirement. When I was going through this requirement, I came to up a article with the service now. So whoever give this requirement, I would request you to that go through this article or KV. What service now is saying that if you said that uh, said workflow falls, there are a couple of business rules which will stop working, and that's the reason your work notes might not be populated from uh, you know incident form. So just go through this, and then I come up with this couple of uh, community post that where they are saying that uh, you can use that uh, twice update method to achieve this functionality. So basically I will go through this method uh, twice functionality method I mean I will update the twice first time I will update the work notes and second time I will uh, set workflow calls and then update the record. So let's do that. Um, at that moment what object we are going to use that object I am going to use the fixed script. So what is the fixed script? So fixed script is a script that help us to update um, uh, particular record for one time either you can use the fixed script or maybe schedule job schedule job normally used for schedule but fixed script is used for one time method so you can go for the uh, fixed script now method we are going to use the client record method again um, so these are the things we are going to do that and then if I go back to my in, uh, instance if I go to the incident table I need to let's say that I am trying to achieve for the incident table I am trying to identify the which all record I am going to update that. So let's say that I am going to select that uh, P1 all this in progress and maybe uh, this uh, this many records. So this three this uh, this four record I am going to update and then I am going to update this four record to a resolve resolve state. So what I am going to do that I am going to write a fixed script. So first I'll go and write a fixed script. Here I'll click the new. This is my um, you know fixed script and name. And then here I need to write the script to update particular record. Okay. So I'll just save that at the moment and then here I'll start writing the code. First, we have to uh, we identify that these are the record we are going to update. So these are the incident record we are going to update. So what I am going to do that for that. So I will uh, do a call set or maybe I'll create a function called function and then put the name call update work notes. Okay, and then here. Uh, I am going to update the record. So first I will do that where gr equal to new glide record. So I already in a previous class I told you that how we or why we use the glide record. Glide record is normally used to update or delete or create or I mean basically to card operation we use that. Now on which table we are going to update that. So we are going to update that incident table. I put that incident table name. Now we need to uh, do um, or identify particular record for which record we are going to update. So in that case I identify that the which record is priority is 1, state is in progress and then assignment group is a software. So this record I am going to um, update. So for that what I will do gr dot add encoded query and then I am putting this query. So these are the record I am going to update. Now next question is that we need to put the gr dot query and after that what I will do that I will say that while gr dot next so we are getting one by one record and then what we'll do we'll set that work notes so for that what we'll do gr dot set value and then inside that we'll put that work underscore notes and whatever value we want to update that so let's say that or to update or something like that whatever update you are trying to do that put that and then finally gr.update once you do that what will be happen 
it will query to this incident table with this all this priority one state equal to two and assignment group equal to this one it will query and then it will do a while loop and then it will set or it will uh, set the value work notes equal to this value and update one by one record so if we open that we'll be able to see that these all record will have some work notes so let's uh, first call this function we are going to call this function first so if we call this function what will be happen these all incident will be automatically have some work notes if i open one of this incident you can see so this is the uh, work notes field where there will be one uh, work notes called automatic something that whatever comments we want to put that now next we want to change this state to a resolve state so once we move the resolve state there is a two field one called resolution code and resolution notes these two fields also may get mandatory so for that we what we have to do we have to set certain value here also right so what we'll do we are going to create another function to update that record as a resolve state so let's say that function um update resolve something like that and here uh, in this case what we'll do we'll call that same code called weird gr1 equal to new glide record and here i am going to call this incident table again and then i will say that gr dot this one and then i will say that gr dot query so what will be happen so if we add the gr.encoded query and gr.query it will query to the particular table and then what we are trying to do that we'll say that while gr1.next so these all are will be gr1 so what here also we are doing we are querying to the incident table uh, with particular record now what uh, you are going to set that we, you are going to set their value uh, to uh, resolve state so if you set that their state is resolved state what will be happen uh, their incident will be resolved and at that moment you also want to have you ha also have to set this close port and close node so what I'll do gr1 dot uh, state equal to 6 I think for resolve it is 6 and then we need to put the close code so let's say that gr1 dot close code equal to duplicate and then gr1 dot uh, close note so you can say that anything like auto update something like that and gr1 dot update now question can be like why we are calling or why we are um, calling this record twice to update this record right because the, the user uh, they said that they want to add the state workflow false so if you use the state workflow false uh, your um, these if you here use the combine and set workflow false work notes will not be worked properly so that's the reason first we are setting the workflow with the set workflow equal to true and then secondly we are you we are going to use a gr1 dot set workflow and then bracket set workflow false what does it uh, do with the set workflow false if you use the set workflow false all the business rule which is running under the incident table will be will not be executed um, until unless this op, I mean for this record when we are going to update that so let's say that any business rule which is checking the mandatory fields which is um, you know uh, doing any integration anything that won't work simply what will be happen this record will be get updated without any running any business rule okay so what will be happen if there is no business rule run this set, uh, these work notes also cannot be um, set because the work notes it's stored in a different table called says channel table which will not be set so that's the reason we need to be run twice so you can go through this document 
I mean this shall be not document you will get that details now this function has to be called second time the first time what will be happen we are just um, calling this incident record and then setting their work notes and then after that we are uh, you know set workflow calls and updating that let's save this record and you can see there is option called record for rollback so this option is available so what does it mean i'll tell uh, i'll say you that so if you click run fix script there will be pop up and there will be two options process and process in background process means if you click that it will be processed in your sessions and it will be hold until unless your all the record got updated if you click the process is background so it will be run in background you need don't need to worry the your um you can work other stuff so i'll click the process in background and then i'll simply close that now this script is running on the background if you want to see their progress you can click that show uh, progress worker and you can see my script is completed and the success and if we open particular incident and at that moment incident got resolved with the particular uh, resolution code now coming back to this uh, script here we have a rollback you can see this is the record rollback so record rollback is doing nothing it can roll back your operation so whatever you have updated through this script that things can be rolled back so let's say that if i open this incident this incident is right now resolved right uh, so it previously the state was different and it's right now resolved so if i go back here in the left navigation and type the roll back we can see there is a module called roll back context so if you simply open this roll back context and then um, if we add that call update it and update it by so these two field and 2j to a and here uh, you, you will be able to see this rollback context and here you can see the rollback version you can see the fixed script that i have created the fixed script that i have run so let's open this fixed script or this rollback context and here you can see we have a rollback option under this rollback option what are the incident record we have updated that time it's showing that and then what is the changes happens to this record it's everything is there now if you click simply roll back what will be happen uh, you just need to we mention that es and then click ok this record will be rolled back i mean that whatever changes we have done through the script will be rolled back so this using the script we have updated this incident as a result and then we have updated the work notes those things will be rolled back through this uh, module so once i done that and now if i uh, refresh this incident and you can see this incident status changes again back to the in progress so basically rollback is used to roll back any record and that is for say first site let's say that you run this some script and then the script got some uh, error or this the script creates some issues you can directly roll back from this rollback context module that's it for today if you have any question let me know my comment section thank you very much have a great day